in this video I'll be demonstrating five of the six stages of fish anesthesia. The sixth and final stage of course is respiratory and then cardiac arrest. Here I'm adding tricane methanosulfonate otherwise known as MS222 at a rate of 100 milligrams per liter and you'll notice that the fish are starting to feel the effects of the anesthetic solution. They're sort of swimming aimlessly and crashing into the sides of the tank. What you'll also notice is that when a fish become anesthetized, uh, they lose their ability to maintain their level in the water column and they'll sink to the floor. Here we've entered stage 1 of anesthesia and within 10 seconds we'll jump into stage 2 anesthesia. Stage 1 is where they're lightly sedated, there's slight loss of reactivity to stimuli and slight decreased respiratory rate. In stage 2, there's total loss of reactivity to external stimuli and the exception of strong pressure and there's a slight decrease in respiratory rate. So here they're more deeply sedated and then now we'll move into stage 3 of anesthesia. Here there's partial loss of equilibrium and muscle tone. You may have erratic swimming and increased respiratory rate and they react only to strong stimuli. So different fish may react differently um, in this case, uh, this is sort of the excitatory phase, but they don't look all too excited at the moment. But some, some fish do go through that. So you can see that there's still spinal reflexes at this stage. Um, so we're not quite at stage 4 yet. But depending on what fish you have, like this one here, it's not reacting at all. So right now, all fish are in stage 4 anesthesia. And how you can tell is if you provide some pressure onto its tail, uh, you'll see that there is no reaction to the slight noxious stimuli that we're applying. So here we have stage 5 anesthesia, where the respiratory rate is slow and irregular. So for surgery, you would want to keep the fish between stage 4 and stage 5 uh, and not too far into stage 5, otherwise you'll run into the danger of uh, respiratory and then cardiac arrest. And so from time to time, you can just check whether the spinal reflexes are still there um, and keep an eye on the opercular movement. So now we've put the fish back into fresh water. You can see the respiratory rate is slowly, it's pretty much going through the reversal of anesthesia. Uh, you get erratic respiratory rates, um, sort of more stronger movements. You can see that the heads are sort of shaking from side to side. But that's mainly because of the opercular movements. And fish slowly regain consciousness and they take off and start swimming. So for small fish, um, it's okay to let them swim like this, but um, if you are doing surgery on a fish and your client is watching, um, at this stage it's advisable to just keep your hand on the fish um, because sometimes it might appear or it might cause the find some distress uh, when they're waking up and they, they're looking a little bit groggy, sort of swimming around. So here now, the fish are pretty much recovered fully.